Hello, I'm Rachel McKenty, Director of Programs and Development at Legacy Education. Thank you for joining today's presentation on key concepts of healthcare financing, copay, coinsurance, deductible, and out-of-pocket maximum. Understanding these terms is crucial for navigating health insurance plans. Let's define the terms. Understanding these terms is vital. A deductible is the amount a patient must pay out of pocket for covered healthcare services before their insurance plan begins to contribute. For example, if a patient has a $1,000 deductible, they need to cover the first $1,000 of their medical expenses themselves. After meeting the deductible, the insurance will start to share the cost typically through copayments and coinsurance. A copayment is a fixed amount a patient pays for a specific healthcare service or prescription, usually at the time of service. For instance, a patient might pay a $20 copayment for a doctor's visit or a $10 copayment for a prescription drug. Copays are generally straightforward and predictable, making them easy to budget for but they apply regardless of whether the deductible has been met. Coinsurance is the percentage of cost a patient pays for covered services after the deductible has been met. For example, if a health plan has a 20% coinsurance rate and the patient has already met their deductible, the patient would pay 20% of the cost of a covered service, while the insurance covers the remaining 80%. Coinsurance helps share the cost of care between the patient and the insurer based on the total expense of the service. The out-of-pocket maximum is the maximum amount a patient will pay out of pocket in a policy period, which is usually a calendar year, but some plans do have benefit years. Once the limit is reached, the insurance plan covers 100% of the cost for covered services. For example, if a patient has an out-of-pocket maximum of $5,000, once they have paid a total of $5,000 in deductibles, copayments, and coinsurance, the insurance will cover all further costs for covered services for the remainder of the policy period. Let's put it all together. Here's an example to illustrate how these terms work. A patient has a health plan with a $1,000 deductible, 20% coinsurance, and $5,000 out-of-pocket maximum. After meeting the $1,000 deductible, the patient has to pay 20% on further expenses. If the patient incurs $4,000 in medical bills, they would pay $1,000 to the deductible and 20% for the remaining $3,000 balance, amounting to $600. When the total expenses, including copayments, coinsurance, and deductibles, reach $5,000, any additional costs for covered services for the rest of the year will be covered fully by insurance. Understanding these terms helps patients better anticipate their healthcare costs. Please note the term covered. Any non-covered expenses, sometimes referred to as self-pay services, for example, Botox for wrinkles, is not counted toward the deductible or out-of-pocket maximum. Also of note, these benefits can vary in cost depending on the provider or location the services are rendered. For example, the copay is generally higher at a specialist or the ER. Let's move on to some CPB practice questions surrounding these concepts. A patient calls the PCP office after hours and is told to go to the ER. What copay would be applicable for the ER visit? Let's review the benefit information listed. We can see the patient's deductible information and the copay information. Notice that there are three separate copayments due, depending on the services rendered. The copay will be assessed for the ER since this is the place of service. This makes the answer D. Question two, patient is seen and billed 99213 for 
She has a policy that pays 80% of the allowed amount, which is $68. What is the patient responsibility and amount to collect for the visit? You can see our answers here are $15, $61.40, $13.60, or $10. To answer this question, we must understand what the allowed amount means. The allowed amount in insurance refers to the maximum amount an insurance plan will pay for a covered health care service. It is the negotiated rate that the insurers have agreed upon with the health care providers, which is often lower than the provider's standard charge. When a patient receives medical care, the allowable amount determines how much of the cost the insurer will cover, and it also is used to calculate the patient share of costs, such as copayments, coinsurance, or deductibles. For in-network providers, the allowable amount is usually predetermined, so the patient will only need to pay their portion based on the insurance terms. If the patient goes to an out-of-network provider, they may have to pay the difference between the provider's charges and the allowed amount in addition to their out-of-network cost. This is often referred to balance, as balance billing. Let's revisit the question. The billed amount is $75. The allowed amount is $68. Assuming this is an in-network provider, the difference of $7 would be a contractual adjustment, meaning a reduction in the billed amount, also referred to as a provider write-off. We'll take the amount of $68 and times it by 20%. To simplify, that would be 0 0.20 times 68, which equals 1360. The answer is C. Based on the information on this card, what copay should be collected from a patient for seeing a cardiologist in his office? Let's review the benefit information listed. We can see the patient's deductible information and the copayment amount. Notice there are three separate copayments due depending on the services rendered. A cardiologist is considered a specialist. Therefore, we would refer to the specialist line to determine the copayment amount. The answer is C. Let's move on to question four. What is a deductible? Let's review each answer. A fixed amount paid at the time of service is called a copayment. So we know that A is wrong. B, amount of expenses that must be paid before the payment is made by the insurance company. This sounds like a deductible to me, but let's review the others to be sure. Answer C is a percentage of the patient, a percentage the patient is responsible to pay at the time of service. Percentages of visits would be linked to coinsurance, so this is wrong. And D, the amount paid by the insurance company. The amount paid by the insurance company is known as the allowed amount, so this would also be wrong. As we suspected, B is the correct answer, the amount of expenses that must be paid before payment is made by the insurance company. And our final question for this brief discussion. A patient presents to the ER, but is admitted as an inpatient for care. What copayment is collected based on the insurance card for a participating, participating facility? The key word is admitted. Let's review the available benefits. The copayment listed for inpatient is $100. The correct answer is C. Thank you for joining us. For more CPB practice questions, please visit our website at medicalbillco.com.